Y'all, I finished the 34 Ford Cabriolet. There it is all sitting pretty in the case. Let's get her out and uh, talk about the build and talk about the kit. This is the 1934 Ford customizing kit made by Monogram, circa 1962. This is a great kit. I've built it twice now. <clears throat> First was this three window coupe, probably about 20 years ago. And I just finished a Cabriolet. Actually, now that I remember, my memory's really bad. I've built this kit four times. I had forgotten. When I was a, a young man, my day, dad gave me a Cabriolet kit that was finished, and I took it apart and repainted it. <clears throat> then I got hold of another Cabriolet kit that was a later monogram, uh, early iron, early iron um, issue. And I built it up too, but those have since long gone. A lot of my models from my childhood have disappeared into oblivion. I don't know what happened, but I think those early Cabriolets were the 1970s early iron series, but this is the original 1962 monogram 34 Ford customizing kit. And first of all, this box art is just killer. I'm probably gonna hang this on the wall or something when I'm done, because that's just, that's beautiful. They don't make box art like that anymore. Um, this kit comes with lots of great parts. Let's take a look inside the kit before we look at the model of some of the parts that it came with that I didn't use. Well, there's the through window coupe um, top, right? So on this kit, you only get one body, <clears throat> but you can substitute the cabriolet roof or the through window coupe roof. So I still have the through window coupe roof, but I can't build another one because it only comes with one body, one frame, and one set of fenders. Um, but if you find a you know, incomplete kit on eBay or whatever, you could use the rest of the parts to finish it up. Um, just some really neat stuff on here. This chrome tree, I will definitely use some of these parts. These DeSoto bumpers are really great. Very, very uh, custom. It can be used as an early custom. There's the windshield frame for the coupe. This grill is so cool. I almost used this grill on the Cabriolet build but it was just a little bit 60s for me, and I was really going for a late 40s, early 50s look. Um, it's also got lake pipes right there, a moon tank, um, and some really nice stock 34 bumpers, which don't have the bumper guards. The Monogram 35, 30, or 36 Fords have bumper guards and are a little bit different, so <clears throat> there's one of them. Um, other cool parts in this kit is are, are just the stock parts. Now, I may never build a stock vehicle, but if I do, the, the, the Ford wires are very well detailed um, with center caps, so that's really nice. And the tires are rubber and really nice. Those are very cool. I'm gonna definitely use those on another project. Um, it comes with the Pontiac engine and also a, a pretty decent 21 stud flathead. If you wanna build a stalker, it's pretty cool. And this is just really neat. This is a hobby kit catalog from 1962. Look at all the different models you could buy from Monogram. And I've built or had a bunch of them. I'm not really an airplane guy, but uh, I've built a lot of the cars um, and not the military stuff, so. It's mostly military. I guess the colors are on the back, yeah. So there's the 36 Ford Cabriolet or Coupe that they reissued a bunch of times. The um, the Curtis Racer, I've got one of those. The Model A Fit, and I've got one of those. Um, I've built the Dragsters before, especially the Tony Nancy. I think that's the Tony Nancy Nailhead on top there. I built that one. And then over here we've got, um, I think that's, Let's see here. That's the Black Widow there. And then some of the other things. Anyway, just a really cool catalog. Um, the Cyclone 9 aircraft engine. Wow, $1.98. That's really cool. Anyway. <clears throat> um, anyway, so there's just some really cool parts. There's like cycle fenders. 
um, for some of the builds. Man, lots of cool parts you could use on other builds of the era. And very, very cool. Here's the instructions, which are nicely yellowed. You know, build as the Cabriolet or the three window coupe stock, custom coupe, custom Cabriolet. Um, anyway, just very, very nice. Got some nice deta decals. The decals are in the box still. It's got the cool monogram logo. They are very yellowed and I didn't try to use them, but um, man, some drag strip classification numbers and um, really neat. The big bopper, I don't know where I'd use that, but that could come in handy someday. And then, you know, an advertisement for other monogram models. Anyway, just a really cool kit. If you can find them for under $100 on eBay, snatch them up, um, complete. Because um, they're they're really they're really neat. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, all right, let's get to the actual build. Let's look at the thirty four Cabriolet proper and the thirty four three wheel coupe as well. All right, try to set the camera down here. All right, so the thirty four Cabriolet. Um, this is Tamaya TS-59, I believe it's called Light Pearl Red. Um, and then Tester's Wet Look Clear over the top. I did chop the top. These are actually quite easy to chop because this roof actually had a, a, oh, a, a, body, a body line molded into it that you would, you're supposed to paint body color. If you just file that thing off, it lowers the top down probably a scale inch or two. And then I just cut the windshield to match the top. Okay, so when you're chopping convertibles, the top is always a challenge. A lot of guys chop them and don't put a top back on them. But um, I was actually able to, you know, shave that, that extra piece of plastic off there and it doesn't even look like anything should be there. And, uh, and then just make the windshield to match. <clears throat> the windshield frame, the windshield wipers needed to be cut shorter. And then I, I chop windshield frames by cutting them very carefully in the corners diagonally, and then just making another diagonal cut and super gluing them back together so you don't actually ever hurt the chrome. Um, it's a good way to do that. Um, what can I say? This. This 34 grill is the nicest and most accurate 34 grill ever made in a model car, and I've seen them all. Um, the AMT 34 five window coupe um, is close, but not, not this nice. It's not perfect, but I think it's the best. Um, I've seen a lot of 34 Fords in real life. My dad owned a couple. And as far as accuracy, you know, I just, I can't, they didn't have computer aided anything back in 1962, so. <laughs> You know, they probably just drew them out and then, um, you know, that's how they, uh, and then made molds and, and then somebody actually handmade these things. But it's very, very nice. Um, I did not glue on the side hoods because I want to be able to see the engine. One of the th reasons they made it a three-window coupe or a cabriolet is because three-window coupes and cabriolets actually share the same doors from the belt line down, um, even in the real one. So it's very easy to, you know, <clears throat> just change the roof. That's why this isn't a Roadster. A 33, 34 Roadster has a much shorter door. Um, in, in, in addition to the difference in the cowl, the doors are much shorter. So if they would have put a Roadster cowl on here, it would have been inaccurate. So I'm assuming that's why they did the Cabriolet. This has 36 Ford, uh, monogram 36 Ford headlights. Um, and by the way, I didn't mention, this was inspired by the West Collins 34 Ford. If you just Google West Collins um, and custom Rama, um, you'll see some pictures of it. It was a roadster with a Duval windshield with skirts built in the late 40s. <clears throat> but this is a monogram 40 Ford flathead with 297s. I used the upper radiator hoses and pulleys 
from the Ravel 32 sedan kit because the generator on the 40 Ford kit stuck too, out too far and it hit the hood. So I needed something that was a little bit tighter packaging. So I used the 32 sedan. But the rest of the engine is from the Monogram 40 Ford kit. I used a Parts by Parks um, pre-wired distributor. And how I, how I wire flatheads is I just kind of drill a hole in the end of the block and I just stick the whole parts by parts distributor in there and super glue it in and run the wires. And so it, you can't really see it down there. It's not accurate, but you can't see it anyway, but it makes it wiring a lot easier. Plus the little spark plugs are molded into the head so you can put the little boots on there really easy. <clears throat> um, one thing that I did on this car that I hadn't done a lot before is I used, oh sorry, I used all super glue as filler. I didn't use any Bondo or putty on this. So for the chop and for like where the door handles are filled and the cow lights, I used all super glue and I am sold because I've got a chop top on a 32 sedan. And after about a year, the, the filler started to shrink and you could see the seams and I hate that. So I'm going to be finish, probably finish filling a lot of things with super glue from now on. Um, you just kind of glob it on there, let it dry and file it down. And I couldn't believe it, it works great. That's probably a trick that's been used a lot and people know about it, but I'm a little behind and I sometimes, <laughs> it takes me a while to pick up on things. Uh, I scratch built the skirts just from some flat styrene that I got at the hobby shop. And then it's got two 41 Lincoln front bumpers on it. Um, so I have two 41 Lincoln kits now missing their front bumpers and missing one of them is missing a steering wheel because that is a 41 Lincoln steering wheel. Another cool part that this kit comes with is the super cool tonneau cover. Um, this is mostly for racing, like a, like a racing version, but wow, super cool, covers the passenger seat. Um, very, very cool 50s deal. The West Collins car also had a sunken license plate. So I got some vintage, um, you know, printed decal license plates off eBay and then carefully uh, cut the hole and then glued the decal in behind it to make it look Frenched. The taillights are from the ZZ Top kit. Um, I don't like to rob parts off of other cars, but now I have a ZZ Top 33 coupe in my cabinet without taillights, but I'm sure I'll replace them someday. Um, the bottom of this car is not super detailed. Um, I, I did not remove the molded in exhaust. I just didn't feel like it, honestly. And I just went for some, you know, some solder bendable straight pipes. Um, this is mostly gonna be a shelf model anyway. Um, the front suspension is from the Model A, 30 Model A sedan kit from Ravel. Um, and I used the, the axle, the spring, and the wishbones, the, the split wishbones, hairpins are actually from this kit, the 34 kit. <clears throat> I love this kit, <clears throat> but there are fitment issues. Um, it, it, you just have to kind of fiddle with it a little bit. Um, these fenders come all in one piece, and I, I detach these fenders from the, from the running boards and glue them to the body for paint because um, I had these don't want to glue up very easily. And if you've got nice paint, it will mess it up. So I glued them up first, separated from the running boards, and then um, painted it. The, uh, the rumble seat doesn't want to open very easily because of paint buildup, so I kind of have to go in there and, and grab it with uh, my finger. But uh, I decided to go with flat red against the pink. I thought it looked pretty cool. And uh, got a little convertible boot here we can put on there for now. <clears throat> anyway, I had a 44 dash ready to go for it, but it just wasn't working out. Um, it just kept giving me problems. I just got frustrated and painted the stock 34 dash, but then put a decal of a 40 deluxe instrument cluster right over the stock 34 instrument cluster. So that's that worked out great. Um, anyway. So this is kind of a late 40s, early 50s custom. And by the, by the mid 50s, customs were kind of out of style. 
and you don't see a 34 Ford built as a custom very often. And so this is a car I had in mind to build for a long time. And uh, once I got a hold of the, the Lincoln bumpers and made the skirts, it was on. Um, it really made the Lincoln bumpers and the skirts really make the car. Oh, the wheels and tires. Um, all f I started using all four from the Revell 49 Mercury kit, but the fronts looked too small. Like they didn't fill the wheel opening right. So I swapped out the fronts for, you know, maybe some, I guess they're 616s or something from the Revell 40 Ford kit and then Cadillac Sombrero hubcaps all the way around from the Revell uh, 49 Mercury kit. Also pretty cool, came with the kit, the little aerial on the back deck. Really neat 60s detail. Um, I polished I polished my cars um, with 3M Perfect It, three stage. That stuff's really expensive. I have it in the garage for my real cars, but um, a little dab, you can uh, polish up your model cars pretty easily too. Um, I think that's about it. Um, I, I think I wanna do a 36 Ford three window coupe custom next, so that might be on deck. But I thought we'd look at the, th the three window coupe really quick. Again, same kit. Actually, same flathead engine from the 40 Ford. Um, built this like 20 years ago. The kit that I bought did not have a windshield frame. So that's actually a windshield frame from the monogram, or the, excuse me, the Revell 3243 window kit. It almost fits perfectly. Um, it's hardly noticeable that it doesn't. But I did this pretty much as a stock late 50s hot rod, dropped axle, um, I kept the spare, stock taillights, white interior. Um, if I was to do it again, I might do the running boards and the top insert white, but it's not worth taking apart for. But again, I'm a big fan of the 34 Ford and there hasn't been a really good, you know, example of one to model for many, many years. The best example is the ZZ Top 33 kit. But, uh, you know, if you want to build one as a traditional customer hot rod, the Monogram 33 kit doesn't really have a lot of the parts you need. So pick up one of these Monogram 1962 kits. They are a little bit pricey, <clears throat> but if you are patient, you can pick one up for $100. Even if one is might be a little bit incomplete or started, if it's got all the right parts you need, it's totally worth it. So um, thanks for watching. Um, I don't know what I'm building next. I got a 1960 Chevy truck for my birthday and then I've got an idea to build a, a chop 36 three window coupe uh, early custom as well. Um, anyway, all right, great. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time.